Hey guys, it's Sandy here, and today we're looking at a blue-white control deck that I put together for you guys, uh, affectionately named Mumu and Friends. It's essentially a uh, Teferi control deck. What we're trying to do is stop our opponents from playing Magic and <laughs> essentially just stacks in standard. Uh, it's kind of dumb. It's not something that I usually enjoy doing, but uh, I wanted to find a shell for Mu Yanling, and this has been the, the best shell that I've found that for, to actually get her to her ultimate and actually win games with it. So I'm just going to talk about the main deck here, talk about the sideboard interactions between, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So to start the lineup, we have four copies of Rule of Law, which is for three. Sits on the battlefield, and each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. We're playing four copies of Teferi Time Raveler, which is for three, one, a white, and a blue. Four Loyalty Planeswalker. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they can cast a Sorcery. His plus one ability is until your next turn you may cast Sorcery spells as though they had Flash. And his next three ability is return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment to its owner's hand and draw a card. Three copies of Narset, which is for three, one, and two blue. It's a five Loyalty Planeswalker, with each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. And her next two ability is look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put that card into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Three copies of Big Teferi, Teferi Hero of Dominion for five, three, a white, and a blue. It's a four loyalty planeswalker with his plus one ability being to draw a card. At the beginning of your next end step, you untap two lands. His next three ability is return target non-land permanent to its owner's library third from the top. And his next eight ability is you get an emblem with whenever you draw a card, you exile target permanent and opponent controls. Finishing off the planeswalkers, we have the two copies of Mu Yanling Skydancer, which is three, one, and two blue. She's a two loyalty planeswalker with her plus two ability being until your next turn, up to one target creature gets neg two, neg zero, and loses flying. Her next three ability is you create a 4-4 blue elemental bird creature token with flying and her neg 8 ability is you get an emblem with islands you control have tap draw a card. So what we're aiming to do is play the rule of law and then comboed with Teferi or Big Teferi, the amount of suppression that we have on our opponent more often than not forces concession. They just can't do what they want to do and when they do do something we're just going to bounce it back to their hand. We're not running creatures at all in the main deck here so anything that Narset goes to dig for it's just going to be yes. With little Teferi's static ability and his plus one ability synergizing so well with rule of law it's going to mean that we're going to be able to play two spells one in their turn and they're not going to be able to play spells in ours. And if all he's going to plan they're going to want to be dealing with these planeswalkers in preference of Mu anyway. So she's going to be able to get to her ultimate, and then we're just going to be able to get huge amounts of card advantage, and then just bury our opponent with it. The two copies of Dawn of Hope, uh, another way to generate creatures, as well as gain life and draw cards in the deck. It's an enchantment for two, one and a white. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two if you do draw a card, and you can pay four, three and a white to create a one, one white soldier creature token with a lifelink. Two copies of Time Wipe, which is for five. That's also speed, you return to a creature you control to its owner's hand and then destroy all creatures. Again, there's no creatures in the main deck here, but it does give us a really cool interaction with the only creature in the sideboard. For two, at sorcery speed, returning target non land permanent to its owner's hand, and it also has a mass one, so we get a token out of it. Two copies of Blink of an Eye. For two, at instant speed, you return target non land permanent to its owner's hand, and if it was kicked, you draw a card and three copies of Unsummon, which is just for one at instant speed, you return to a creature with its owner's hand. Two copies of Prison Realm, which is for three, two, and a white. When it enters the battlefield, you exile target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls until Prison Realm leaves the battlefield. When Prison Realm enters the battlefield, you scry one. Just being able to filter off the top can be really useful, but the ability to hit any creatures or planeswalkers can be really, really good depending on your matchup. Two copies of Absorb, which is for three, a white and two blue. At instant speed, you counter target spell and you gain three life. Three copies of Sinister Sabotage to finish off the counter spells here. For three, one and two blue. At instant speed, you counter target spell and surveil one, giving us another way to potentially filter off the top. And four copies of Opt, which is for one blue. At instant speed, you scry one and then draw a card. Again, just more filtering, more draw a card. Touching on the land base here, four copies of Hallowed Fountain, Plains Island, comes in tapped unless you pay your life. Four copies of Glacial Fortress, comes in tapped unless you control a Plains or Island, as well as eight Islands and seven Plains. Touching on the sideboard here, we have three copies of Leyline of Sanctity, which is for four, two, and two white. It has the Leyline ability, so if it's in your opening hand, you can start it with it on the battlefield, and it gives you Hexproof. Obviously more for the control matchups, so it's really good against targeted discard or burn. Three copies of Deputy Detention for the token matchups or the really aggressive creature decks. Three, one, a white and a blue. It's a one, three Vedokan Wizard. When it enters the battlefield, you exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls and all other non-land permanents with the same name as the permanent until a Deputy Detention leaves the battlefield. Another effective board wipe in the form of Cleansing Nova for five, three, and two white. You can choose one, you can destroy all creatures or you can destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Some counter magic in the form of Dovin's Veto, which is for two, a white and a blue. At instant speed, this spell can't be countered and you counter target non-creature spell. Two copies of Lazatep Plating, which is for two, one and a blue at instant speed. You amass one and then you and permanents you control gain hexproof until end of turn, effectively a counter spell. And two copies of Essence Scatter for the more creature matchups. So 
for two, one and a blue, at instant speed you cannot target creature spell. So with the deputy detention, what we're going to be able to do is bounce back with the time wipe. We're going to be able to bounce back to our hand. That's going to put whatever creature we've exiled onto the battlefield and then it's going to get wiped away and killed, which is hilarious. The rule of law and Teferi synergies absolutely drowning our opponent in value. They just can't get out from underneath it. The deck works an absolute treat. I've been winning a lot of games on Arena with it. It's definitely not a deck that I'd like to play against, but playing with it more interactive than you'd think it would be, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to see new videos as they were released. If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, you can throw me a dollar on my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash sandersquest. And I will see you guys in the next video. Keep questing, guys.